because I'm going to work a technique for a boxer coming in at me. Usually what you can expect from a boxer is punching. Okay, very rarely will a boxer try to take you down to the ground. Very rarely will a boxer try to kick. Primarily what a boxer is going to use is four basic punches. One's a jab, one's a cross, hook, maybe an uppercut. You got to remember, on uh, far range, it's going to be a jab or a cross. Close range is going to be an uppercut or a hook. So back in our fighting stance position here. What we got to do is determine where our, our, our boxer is. We're both in position here, we're both out of range. So one of us will have to step either way to close the range in order to throw the strikes. As soon as one of us steps, one of us, the other person has to react to it. Now, again, what we're doing is setting it up so we can do the training exercises here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with him throwing a front jab. So he throws the jab. It's coming straight in like that. Now, put him back up for me. Now, see what he did? He stepped forward with the left leg, throwing his jab again. Now, what I'm going to do is move it out of the way. Now, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my back hand to do the scoop. Now, as it comes, I'm just coming up on top of the wrist here. Turn it out of the way. Now what you got to remember here, you don't need a lot of strength to move it out of the way here. I'm in this position right here. Very easy to move it from side to side, up or down, or wherever you want to move it. The only thing you can't do is stop it straight on. Okay, so one thing we don't want to do is stop it straight on. When it comes straight in, just move it. Right, that's all you got to do. It's coming straight out to you. You just move it. Just like that. Very simple. Now what I want to do is I want to counter off of it. So as soon as he throws it, I'm going to come in with a back leg roundhouse kick to his leg. All right, very simple. He steps, throws, and then I counter. Okay, again, we'll take just a little bit slower here. Comes out. I scoop it out of the way. It's completely away from me here. I'm set up perfectly. Right here is my target. And then the, the shin, I'm going to, of course, use this leg here. Is right in position here just to throw the kick. All right, now come right back to position here. Now. What I want to do is follow doing a technique off of this because it sets me up in perfect position here. Because I go from here, I scoop, I kick, I come in this way here. Now what I want to do is I got my hand around his waist. Let's just, just turn this way for me for a second. I put my hand behind his waist here so I can control him. He's back from here. My body weight's in front of him. Now what I have to do is I have to get my hips below him. Because what I want to do is I want to lift him up with my hips. So all I got to do is once I get underneath is just lift my hips up and that's going to bring him up. As I bring him up, I'm going to turn my upper body, which will throw him down. So let's just move back this way just a little bit for me. Right there, back up, open your legs out. Right like that. Okay, so I'm in this position here. Okay, now let's start right from there. Get right back there. Okay, from here. Punch, count, scoop, kick. I step in. Toss him down. Now. You can come down with him. I chose not to come down with him primarily because showing you an exercise here, I want to be able to control it rather than just drop it on him. Once I get him down on the ground, my main objective here is, is to control him first before I do a technique. As soon as I get him down here, I want to get him flat down on his back. Now, there's a couple of things I can do. The easiest way to do is just take an elbow, put it on his chest, and just push him down. Just flattens him right back down. Now what I want to do I want to take my heart and put it right on his heart. So I'm doing this here. Just like this. And this way I can control it. Now as I do it, what I want to do is have my legs spread apart. So let's move this angle from here. One thing we never want to do when we're on top of the opponent is put our legs together like this. We got no balance. It's too easy for me to roll like this or to roll like this. I have no balance at all from here. What I got to do is put my legs apart from each other. Like this. So I got one leg tucked up and one straight back. So this way I, I can control my lower body. Now what I'm going to do is take the arm, grab the wrist underneath and I'm put the technique on. Now I'm going to show you from the angle that we were originally at. Alright, again I'm going to be on top of his heart. Okay? I got one leg up. I'm choosing to put the leg up closest to his head right now. Because I'm going to show you how you use your body and you put this technique on a little bit easier. The other leg is straight out behind me. Now I'm going to grab the wrist. I want to try to get this arm bent at a 45 here. I grab the wrist. I'm going to come underneath the elbow and grab my wrist. Now another thing that's real important on this technique when you do it is you have got to get it off the floor. Don't let the technique on the floor so it stays up in the air here. 
Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my legs to shift. What I'm going to do is switch the spot. Right now i got him up like this. My left one is closest to his head, my right is further away from his body. I'm just going to switch them. I'm going to bring the left down and the right up. And that's going to shift. Let's just move out just a little bit for me. Right there. Now watch what happens when I shift my legs. I'm not going to do anything to my arms, but my arms will shift automatically when my legs shift. So then I get the extension here to put the technique on. Alright, so I always start in this position here. I really don't have to use my hands. All I have to do is use my legs like this. Just switch it back and that puts the technique on. Alright, let's get back up for me and we'll do the whole thing one time here. Okay, from our face, let's move back just a little bit. You throw jab, scoop, kick, here. Come down this position, control. Grab the wrist. Grab underneath, lock the arms up. And then I'm just going to switch the hips. Put the technique on. Okay, again, remember what I said about tapping. When the guy taps, that means let go. This is stop. This means go. So what you want to do is be able to tell the guy, hey, you got to stop now. And I'm going to have the students come in here. Okay, fighting position. First thing, range yourself and move back to here just a little bit. Okay, right now you see, not in, in spot to get hit. And that's where we want to start. Okay, now what we're going to have, he's going to step slightly forward, maybe six, eight inches. That puts him right in the range to actually hit here. All right, as the jab comes, he's going to scoop it. Now watch what he did here. It comes up on the wrist and just moves it. He doesn't make a big movement. Very small, simple movement. Small and simple. Out of the way. And as soon as he's out of the way, he has to execute a movement, which is a kick. Now put the leg down in front, go around the waist. Hips down, and then lift him over and throw the upper body over. Good. Now go down. Get him flat. This leg up. I want it all the way up tight. This one down this way here. Okay, so we've got the angle right here. Okay, now. Get back. Good. Underneath. Okay, remember, he's going to keep it off the ground here. He doesn't want it to touch the floor. Now shift the hips. Bring this one up, this one down. And then if he has to, just push the movement this way. Now when you push the movement, what he's going to do is the arm underneath the elbow comes up, the arm holding the wrist goes down. So all he's doing is this. Do it again. Right there. Good. All right. Let's come on up and let's try a different angle. Okay. Back in our fighting position. You move back this way. Just a little. Okay. Right there. Okay. Let's go. Good. Scoop. Kick. In front. Take him over. Again, leg up, tight here, out a little wider. Okay, underneath, ground, shift the hips, and then push. Very good. All right, very good there. 